In school, we learn addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division, among many other things. But what if we only learn addition? Then you will not know how much change you need to give back to someone whom you've sold a value offering. If we only learn subtraction, you will always devalue everything around you, perhaps even your loved ones. If we only learn multiplication, we will always make things seem bigger than they are, even our own problems and misfortune. If we only learn division, we may perhaps spend our whole life dividing everything and everyone around us. We may not be Einsteins, but as luck may have it, we have learned enough addition, subtraction, multiplication and division to live a life free of math conflict. But why don't we apply this same logic to our religious studies at school? Why do we have a religion period that divides a classroom to subsections based on belief? Why do we let the future generation grow up only having learned the belief system that they were born into? Why do we have Buddhist, Christian, Hindu and Muslim schools that don't allow the teaching of other religions? Why do we spend time, effort and money to undo religious divide that help spread love peace and togetherness? Why do we look to change the extremist dogmatic beliefs of adults when all we've done to them since their childhood was teach them about the only religion that matters, the one they were born into? Let's stand together and make changes from ground up, my friends. Let religion remain as a subject, but change the system itself so kids grow up learning as many religions as possible in their average 12 years of school life. Let's not divide classes anymore. Instead, let the kids learn together about each other, share knowledge and grow up in a world where they don't leave thoughts and prayers for each other after a disaster, but instead celebrate coexistence in a beautiful world they call home. You may say it's too much for a child to learn many religions, but didn't most children grasp addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division? So let's start with four.